and I am now live. Okay, cool. So, playing World of Tanks console today. I don't know, actually, really have any plans with today other than probably grinding some credits, trying to improve my win rate in a few vehicles. Might go for Marx and the Basanti, I am not sure. I uh, just want to see where this game actually takes us today because, you know, as everyone who plays World of, Con World of Tanks console at the moment knows, this game isn't really going the way I think the the community want it to go but you know it is what it is and I guess we'll just take it from there so um, yeah so what's the plan well well the Italian heavies are now out so that that's kind of some all right ish news I mean we've got the Caro uh, P88 already I've already uh, ground through that luckily but I just need to grow credits now for this piece of shit to get this piece of shit and to get this finally this piece of crap because uh, at the moment they're all quite bad. I uh, don't know why I'm punishing myself by doing this, but just see how it goes. But yeah, alright, let's get into the first battle. Probably going to play some Basanti to see how it goes, to be honest. Don't really, like I said, I don't really have any plans. I just want to see where, this, where the day takes me. I haven't streamed in a while. Um, might try and get back into the YouTubes, because, you know, I've made a video in like over a month. Um, but that's just my fault for being lazy and just being too busy with everything else that's going on at the moment. As always, um, but yeah, you see how it, how it goes. Uh, so it's Ghost Town. It's alright. Uh, team Destruction, so yay. No multi base assault. Can't stand multi base assault. And for once, I'm fucking top tier, so that's good. Alright, that's good. Um, let's see how this goes, to be honest, because. Um, you know, with me playing the Basanti, and as everyone pretty much has been around recently, the Basanti is not a good tank. It's really not. Personally, you should, could use a few seconds buffed on the reload. Um, you know, 17 and a half seconds base reload on the, for the first shell um, in sequence. Um, yeah, horrible. And bear in mind, that's like going to be your, your best DPM, as if you just maintain just reloading that shell and. The thing is, well, it, the, the game says you have six rounds per minute now because they finally fixed the way um, the auto reloaders calculate reloads. Because before it was showing some stupid twelve rounds per minute, which is completely unrealistic. Um, even so, like the six rounds per minute is basically calculated, assuming you only have the first shell loaded and not including the interclip. So realistically, you're only still going to get maybe four, maybe five rounds per minute at the very best, and with 360 alpha damage, uh, not fun. But it's how this goes, you know. Like I'm top tier, can't go wrong. And just see where this game takes. So, um, Ghost Town kind of like to fight the mid bridge here. Let's see where this goes because I often will get caught out here on occasion just because you get crossfire from there and then from there. But yeah, nothing really going on there. Alright, oh, Vanguard trying to flank. That's annoying. Die Vanguard, piece of crap. Okay, I'll track them, be prepared. I shouldn't go deep in the mag like this, but fuck it, it's a Vanguard. Vanguard's to die. Uh, now I'm empty, so I'm gonna have to leave him for the tank destroyer. It's fine, it's fine, it's okay. And that's uh, two Tiger 2s. Oh, great. Love being dry on magazine. Love it. Yeah, you because know, 13 seconds for a. <laughs> this is. Is it, is it great? But wait, yeah, I see I've just. Oh god, that, that Tiger 2 must be fucking raging right now. And get ammo right, but it's superior Soviet tank. Da comrade, Skuka. All right, funny about reload. Taking crossfire from the right is only a Karo. Don't care if it's a Karo. With the P88, it can go suck, go suck dick. Oh, hi Benny, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm yeah, I decided to stream for like the first time in fucking years. Well, I say years, I mean like it's been like a month. It's been a few months because I'm just bored of donkey dick. So you know, how are you doing anyway, Benny? Can you hear me loud and clear? Because I think I finally sussed my OBS settings because it was broken last time I did this. Alright, let's just reload the second shell so I don't get punished. Bye bye, take a dude. Fuck you. Alright. I don't know why I'm fucking playing the Pistonti for. Like, really, if I'm. Like, because the whole point of playing today is I don't want to rank credits, but the thing is, though, if we want to rank credits, really, I should be playing Cold War. Because credit earning in Cold War is just fucking retarded. But I'm playing the Basanti, so I don't know. I'm fucking the dumbest shit, I guess. Uh, hello there, P88. I will now click you because I'm a Basanti and I can. There you go. I shouldn't do this because I'm going to be out for 5 seconds, but it's alright. 
And I am pro me and a few other players are probably the reason they won't buff this thing, because apparently doing 2k average damage is a good thing. <laughs> Though you have to fucking work your ass off for it in this thing. That's a Jet 54. Um, rather ignore him. Go for the 59. But yeah, how you doing, Benny? You good? But if you if you can't hear me, just let me know. Um, actually, then if you can't hear me, you to let me know. <laughs> but that was a nice execution. Got the absolution. Take you over power crap somewhere else. Um. Now this is the moment I wish I was playing a normal tank because um, I would have the DPM to fucking screw it with the DPR, but I can't really do anything here. Um, if I get killed by the sit down, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry now. Feels bad, man. My fault, but I, I went too deep. Should have paid more passively because it is the Bissanti. But you know, it's all good. Okay. So, where well, would this game go? But no. Part of me says it should be a win, but knowing what World of Tanks is like, it could e easily go either way. There's always 2M though, Jesus Christ, I'm ammo racking that Tiger 2 for 1500 at the start of the game. <laughs> Ooh, oh no, that Tiger 2 was angry. Definitely angry. Because it's purely a Soviet tank, but yeah, that'd probably be a win now. Definitely be a win. Just got some advantage. Unless it's Lantern C and the, the, the Prius fucking embarrass my entire team, you know, it's probably gonna go that way. Here we are. Alright, so that was a not bad game to be fair for the shit auntie, or the trash auntie. 3 kills, 2951 damage, pretty alright, 200 assists, made 100k credits, more interested in my mark percentage, that's now 46%, happy days. So I'll probably play it again, you know, because why not, you know, there's a new tank on the block that's been out for a while, well about a week now so. Uh, yes, see how this goes. You've earned XP, well done. Well, not like I need a like, complete season pass, but... Oh well, have I done? Actually, yeah, I've done the bonus challenges, haven't I, for the season pass? And play bring a contract I can't be asked doing, because I've already got it. Even though it's like 1.8 mil credits. Alright, let's play the Bosonti again. Let's play the Shitonte. The Shitonte, best tank comrade. Alright. Cool. So, how's it going? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, okay, cool. That's no, no, no. Oh. All good. How's Ren doing anyway? You playing um, was it GTA or something? Is it? I've, I've reinstalled GTA, but pff, I don't know. It, it's it's not really the same game for me anymore. Like I, like it's all right, but to be honest, I never really got into the online part of it anyway. Like I played a shit ton of it when I was on 360, but I barely t I barely touched it since it's on Xbox One. And um, I think it took me literally three years just to get an apartment. I just couldn't be bothered playing the game that much. Hence why my character's nickname is Homeless Bob. Because <laughs> I used to just drive around in a dump truck. <laughs> but yeah, I had a garage of multi-million fucking dollar cars in it, which I couldn't sell because, you know, hacked money. Because, you know, we all remember that. Oh, good times, good times. But uh, ha how's Ren and the others doing anyway? They're doing good? Oh, 
Oh no, it's the left if you tell them get to the yeah, tier 10 game, so I'm gonna have a bad day. Now I'm gonna have a bad day because now I'm completely useless. Um Yeah, that was that was bad. Oh no. Oh no indeed. Yeah, and that's how much ammo rack will fuck you in this thing because even though we had a reload one shell. Um Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like it took fucking ages like also, I love how the auto reloading time is still bugged, and they still haven't fixed it. <laughs> it's been what, like, how many years <laughs> since the Italian mediums have first added yet? Yeah, the fucking auto reloading timer is still fucking bugged. Ah, uh, so good. Feels good, man. Um, really, I should be reloading a heat clip, but given how fucking punishing the reload is, I just on this tank, I just can't. I just can't be bothered. I'm just gonna just one yet, see how it goes. If I die, I die. Yeah, I right, know the heat clips up empty my entire mag. Alrighty, alrighty. Um Yeah, missing those shots is my fault for not running the HUD equipment on this thing, but you just can't. Like it is so bad you just it's one of those tanks that you just can't run the HUD equipment on. Cause you need the vents for the DPM, need RAM for DPM, need a vert stabs because of the horrible gun handling. And because of how bad the DPM is, it's you know kind of worth running optics just to give you something to do while you're reloading. And that's my fault for not paying attention. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. Tier tens can't hurt me. Tier tens don't exist. And it's too high as well in this battle as well, which is just uh, maximum suffering. Oh, there we go. Green Victoria. Then. Jesus Christ. Gun handling great, comrade. I really hope that we'll get buff the Italian Italian line in whole, as a whole, though, just because, oh my god, they're so bad. Like, you can just about make the area, the um, Italian auto loading mediums work because they have at least mobility, right? These things don't ha really have that. Oh my god, that's shell. This is Fucking Christ. That was painful. Like I feel like I've just been so combat ineffective just because it's a fucking tier ten game, and I'm playing effectively the lowest DPM heavy tank in the game. Like, like, ever remember when the Luve had the lowest DPM in the game? <laughs> I remember those, those days. Then it was the T77, and that was this. <laughs> uh that's all right. It's all good. Like, honestly, T77, I would say, is way better than this. And the T77 is sort of garbage as well. It, but at least the T77 has like pay to win ammunition. Because it has like 290 pen. Alright, bounce. Oh well, at least I've killed two tier 10s in this game, even if they were kill steals. I don't care. Who does? Who does? Have mercy? M mercy. Thank you for hitting my gun so I can dump two rounds into you and not kill you. But, you know. Hey, I'm not dead. It's a miracle. I'm somehow not dead. I've done nothing, but I'm not dead. <laughs> ah, world of tanks. Oh, yes. Sky Piggy. There's a Sky Piggy. Guy, Sky Piggy. Fuck you. Did I have a rack? I have a yes. <laughs> uh, love Abor you got to love Amorak and Sky Piggies, because fuck Sky Piggies, eh? Wow. Wow. <laughs> MVP of the shit on tier in a tier 10 game, alright. And I did fucking nothing. Did like fucking 1200 damage. <sighs> oh my god. But then, like, it's, it's full well and good, like me doing 1200 damage in a tier. The shit tier 8, bottom tier, but then you have a look at your team list and then you see a death star. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, 1,200 damage. <laughs> or a fucking 4 foot U doing only 800. Wow. Jesus Christ, but. Ah, uh, this, this world of tanks, though. The greatest game in the world. The, what do you mean it's not balanced? Of course it's balanced game, though. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing this. Alright, let's play the shit on tape one more time. See if I can get my, uh. Get, get my mark percentage up, because why not? Why not? Let's see how this goes. Overlord. 
Uh, one of the best maps in the game if your team don't go beach. Bet they go beach. Because this happens every time you get overlord. Like at least a third of your team will probably go beach and be just gutted. But yes, uh, at least I'm top tier again this time, so that's alright. That's alright, that's not that's not horrible. Um, loads of tier 7s. So yeah, that's, that's not bad, it's not bad indeed. And yes, change up the music a little bit. I don't really care if it's copyrighted because I'm not doing this for the money, so they can they can do what the fuck they want to my to a channel. I don't care. <laughs> Let's give some Sabaton on because can't go wrong with Sabaton. Sparta. Even though Spartans are Greek, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But yeah. well, technically, here the Byzant by Byzantine Empire, which was basically the best way to say it, Greek Roman Empire. So I guess it sort of makes sense. Some little bit of sense. Sabaton, yes, best Sabaton best band. Don't you know this? It's it's a law. It's a law. You know, Sabaton not best band. <laughs> yeah, it can't go with Sabaton. And we've lost the Vanguard. That's kind of hilarious. Oh look, the other trash tier heavy. That's way way better than mine. At least I can sort of like single shell him down to these clippable. And then fuck him over, but. Alright. Yeah, man, that's how quickly something can die while you're waiting for your single shell to reload. <laughs> hey! Alright, I'm gonna back up here, try and go for. Oh, this is not working. Oh no, that's not ice free, that's kind of a problem. No, no baldy. Alright, 8 seconds, and I can shoot something in the face again. Uh, Alright. I shouldn't have fired, I should not have fired there, but I'm gonna get rushed if I don't. Don't keep him guessing. <laughs> at least try to keep him guessing. Come on, reload a shell. Need a second shell in now. Come on. Alright, oh, should be the end of the screw. Nope, he's dead. Alright, yeah, at least that's somewhat held that. Like, somewhat. Given the crap DPM this thing has, War Gaming Key's buff. And I'm just gonna clip you because I can't be fucked. Die. The Trashante, best tier 8 heavy in game according to Wargaming. Like magical spreadsheet. Magical spreadsheet says this tank best tank in game. Apparently. Apparently it's got the highest win rate of any fucking tier 8 in the game. I fucking doubt that. No, to be fair though, the amount of scrubs that play defenders and ice freeze, you know, it's. Despite those being basically the best heavy tanks in tier 8, you know, I guess it could make sense. A lot, like, in some retarded weird way, it makes some sense. Oh, hi artillery, can I shoot you? Come on, come on, come on. This is risky, innit? Nope, missed. Fuck you. Death to the sky pigs, as always. They deserve no mercy. <laughs> I say that as someone who plays artillery myself, right? But usually, I only play artillery if I am absolutely fucking piss bored in this game, and I'm all I'm just frustrated again, arty myself, because you know you can't beat him, join him, right? Hello, oh, yes, you miss me, yes. My reload. Into his tracks. Into his tracks again. Think. Actually, what was the mark requirements in this? I actually need to check this. I think it was like 3.1k, I think, combined from the last check. Uh, 
fuck it, I'll, I'll waste my I'll look like waste my DPM just to kill that ass. <laughs> DPM, DPM you say? What DPM? Uh, screw it. Oh, ramming speed. Ramming speed. Oh, ramming speed. Oh, fuck. What? Please, no, no pen. Please, no pen me. Um, and this is where I'll probably die because I'm a retarded decision maker. No, no, I got him. I got him. All good. All good. It's all good, comrade. You know. Still not dead, somehow. It wasn't a bad battle, but then again, I was top tier, so. To sort of be expected to do somewhat well. Oh, thanks for following, Ren. Appreciate it, man. How you doing? How you doing? Yes, Raccoon Empire. Yes, I live for that. <laughs> yeah, I decided just to stream for like the first time in fucking ages. It's, it's, it's all good. Um, I bought, I was bored of shit, and I was like, hey, I might as well do something. I haven't done anything in ages, so I'm playing the Trash Ante. Like close to my first mark in it now. Been having some really decent games in it. Surprisingly. If I'm the re if I'm me and other players, the reason they don't buff this thing, I'm sorry, but at the same time, I'm not sorry. <laughs> all right, 122k, uh, first class. That's all right. Still, so I haven't got my mastery in this though. Um, and what is my MOE is 48 percent now. So that's good. But how you doing, Ren? You all right? How was work? Because work is well work. <laughs> And yes, I think turn this volume up a little bit. The 50% is a good or right number. Some blood of Bannockburn. One of the. If you're Scottish, the best Sabaton song. Because it's about Scottish people killing English people over a castle. It's, you know, in the, in the 1500s. Fucking cool. Because <laughs> Sabaton. Sabaton, best band. Alright, 28%. I, I, I feel like I should first get my first mark in this thing, but at the same time, like, I, I don't really want the mark tanks at the moment, since I've heard the fourth mark has been added, and that makes me sad, because it basically says, fuck you, if you've already got three marks, you, you're not you're not good enough scrub. So, that kind of makes me a bit, bit annoyed, but, oh well. I'll make it work. Oh god, tier 10 game, I'm fucked. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll probably just load the heat mag straight away and just pray for the best. That's all I can really do. I mean, I've got 270 heat pen, which is good enough. And it's actually on the, high, up, on the upper end of, um, well, premium shells for uh, tier 8, but uh, it's still not that really. Especially on this tank with this garbage DPM. That's actually a bit rash, just make it a little bit faster. Just a bit faster, just to get my fits uploaded. And there we go. With rations activated, does about 12 seconds for the first shell. But given once I fire the first shell, and if I wait for that shell to reload, that you got the intercut for three seconds, yeah, it's still it's still really bad. So it's it's yeah, not fun, not fun indeed. Also, it's kind of weird how they calculate. Um, though I'm glad they fixed the rate of fire thing for reloaders now, so it's actually more along the lines of what the tank's like rate of fire actually is. It's still kind of annoying how they calculate it without, like, assuming you only reload the first shell with no interclip reload. But bear in mind, you have a full three-second interclip, so you don't actually get that rate of fire. So 
the six rounds per minute says you have an ascent, you don't actually have that. And it's just buff, please. What a gaming buff tank. Make, make tank competitive. Even if I have to wait like fucking half a year, like if it was the T22, to get that in a competitive state, just buff, just buff the thing, please. I don't really give a fuck about the mouse, mouse but the mouse is somewhat fine in its current state. It just needs a little bit more DPM, a bit of gun handling, that's all that needs. But this thing just, yes, buff. Buff, auto, buff the auto loading um, Italians. In fact, just buff all the Italian like tanks like past tier 6 up. Because they've all, they're all kind of bad. Hello, M60. No, no, show mercy, yes. And this is where I get fucked. Because I've decided to drive out here in the tier 10 game with no support. Because I'm, an, I'm a stupidly aggressive player. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine, comrade. Ah, fuck her. Uh. This gets some damage out of this game. It's just bad because like my team can't shoot me until they peek the bridge, and if they peek the bridge, I'm dead. So I cry, I cry every time. I mean, I'm on like 1,200 combined, so it's not the worst thing ever. Given I'm in the worst tier rate in the game in a tier 10 attack, in a, well, a tier 10 battle, so. Alright, see if we can get sneaky shot into them 60 again. Fuck your armor. It don't work. Sixteen hundred. If I can make it to about two K I'd be happy. No, fuck you, Centurion. Oh a pattern there. Uh, I mean I'm not I mean since you're someone I'm not too worried about, though he can fuck me over because I know his DPM is pretty poor, but um, Oh fuck it. Sixty just fired, so look at snap snapshot onto him. Oh bounce. Oh but so good. Oh nose. Oh nose indeed. The guru is like, no, not yet, right. you do not deserve to live. This is tier 10 battle, you deserve death. Oh, look, we're not so run to. What actually how people actually free XP to that tank? Given how bad it actually is. <laughs> I don't know why you would free XP to a, like, a pile of garbage, but, you know, it's alright. It's, it's understandable. I mean, it's got cool skin, right? Uh, it's, just, it's, it's all about that cool skin. Alright, long haul, I'm literally half, over halfway to this run. Although I'll probably just get a shitty keycard and be like, oh yay, 100 gold. Because um, that's my, been like my luck at the moment, which is fine. Um, I guess, though, I could probably play a game with Vindicator, because this is where this tank I was working for marks on. I was also working on this for win rate reasons, because it is just piss poor, and I had a really really bad time this tank when it was like when I first got it many many years ago so my win rate is just shit and uh, so I think I need to win like oh loading game isn't it the loading game is all I know uh yeah like 19 battles Jesus Christ I have to win 19 battles without a defeat to get the stream back to uh 50% which is not fun that is not fun at all. But it's alright though. It's okay. It's up near, well actually, you know, Cowbang, T9 matchmaking somewhat could work. Let's see how this goes. Um, I mean, it's one of those tanks you have to run for the APCR armor just because you just do not have the ammo capacity anyway. Though the APCR armor isn't great. Like, if you're talking about two, three years ago, like 258 pen on a tier, it was fucking amazing because you could literally pen a mouse turret easy. But what they buffed the mouse turret um, made it not as weak as it used to be. Uh, effectively meant that yeah, 258 pen, which used to be like one of the highest, some of the highest penetration you could get on a medium at tier rate. Right? Um, basically, is now kind of just mediocre at best. It can make it work, but you know, it, it's one of those weird things. Like you can make it work, but it's not as reliable as it should really should be. But to be fair though, it beats having only like 240 pen or something like that. Or even worse, playing something like the Panzer Narco, which, which, you know, with 237. Because 237 pen on a tier 8 tank straw with no prep match making makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. 
I mean, if it was one of the things I think with the Panzer back was that, I don't think they should have literally just made it a tier 7 and just nerf, nerfed down the DPM a bit. It would have been fine. Or just made it, gave it like craft matchmaking because, yeah, it's not great. It's not great at all. Let's see how this goes. Team's all focusing. Oh, okay, this is gonna be bad for me. Uh, yeah, um, pretty much all my team's focusing down the KJ area. I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm fucked. Especially after that miss. Dragon don't be for oh, thank god he was throwing cash. That's still bad though. Because I'm heavy, t oh yeah, uh, yeah, this is, this is game over for me already. Yeah, Arthur is focusing me for some reason. My fault for going here without support, but at the same time, it's just, you know. World of Tanks, that's why I don't like Cal Bang. And why I actually don't like some of the new maps in with well, the new Cold War maps in World War II mode because of how because of how the way the view range mechanics and all that work, people just tend to like focus one flank and that's it. And then they just lemming that flank and then like there's not an even distribution of teams, but yeah, it is what it is. You know, can't complain too much about that. Um is the Pesanti out of battle? No, it is not out of battle. So, okay. Oh, no. That's probably out of battle now. It's getting just froze. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, there's victory though. Was not bad. That's not bad. And I was 1800 combined. That's, that's, that's not horrible, actually. To be fair, that's not not complete shit. Given this is what I'm playing, I mean, it's tier 10 matchmaking, you know. So it's not horrible. It's not horrible indeed. Um. Although I should check, what's my MOE standing on the Psalty now? I do want to just kind of get my first mark, just to get my first mark in it, and then I will probably care. Uh, 48.4%, that's alright, that's not bad. I mean, there's maybe way more efficient ways of grind credit, but oh well. Oh, uh, oh! I know it's a negative ten game. I sad, big sad. Well, this is balanced as well. Look, look at this. They get like an extra tier nine. You get an extra tier ten? No, nope. they get an extra tier nine and an extra tier ten. <laughs> what a gaming! We, we know how to balance matchmaking. We put like uh, one team with extra tier nine and ten in a tier eight battle. How fun, so complete. Spreadsheet, spreadsheet shows this is fair balance matchmaking. <laughs> uh, apparently, plus one minus one matchmaking would be more matchmaking fails. I doubt that. I fucking doubt that. I really do. Eh, yeah, oh well. Well, we all know the reason why they, wouldn't, they don't want to add plus one minus one permanently, right? It's all just so they can make money. You know, all the people, you know, sling, have to sling all around the bottom tier tanks. And then they're like, you know, they know they're gonna buy premium time premium tanks. You know, that's, you know, the whole economy of this game basically in a nutshell. You want to sling all the tier 10 tanks because you can't defend them? Haha. <laughs> buy premium. Buy premium time, da. Oh my god, it's like. I, w I, w I really wish that Wargame would just listen to the community. Once in a while, like I know they do, but there's, it doesn't like it feels like it's only really Minto that listens to the community because Minto has to, you like he he gets us right, but then it's just like the actual head up, like people on the top office positions and stuff like, uh, nah, we will just do this because this is a good idea, right? Entire community on fire, 
This is not a good idea at all. But you know. Welcome to Wall of Hits. Oh, that's neat for not gonna pan out. And I'm saying I low close shot, and I might be extremely lucky. Nah, that ain't without happen. That is not happen. Oh no! I missed two shells because I'm, you know, have to sacrifice my HUD to make this deep things DPM good. Lol. <laughs> that is not even good even after the events. Then spam a first stab bucket optics that are still not great. Not a super tank or anything. This is like a really fucking slim. I'm probably like shooting image turrets and that explains why that just doesn't work. But it's still I run optics. At least I can keep them lit. To some extent. Yeah. Uh, okay, what's that? 200 LT, that's not good, because, yeah, that's really not good. Uh, what's that? Ooh, 60 TP. That's... Again, I should be switching the heat, but I'm just going to be wasting rounds either way. Fuck him. Oh, I used to track him. He's taking a track assist, that's alright. Alright, let's reload the heat. And try and do some damage. Emphasis on trying. Because it you do really actually have to try a lot. And the thing is though, like I know if I like try to peek here, get just E4, I'm just gonna fucking die. Even if I had a full clip. Oh, fuck it. No no DVP got him. Oh yeah, he's got four in the mag. Still got ten seconds. Once I have a full mag, I might just go full ham against this pack 20. 20. Screw it. Let's go. Oh no, that's a bad idea. So I fucking choose to say no, no, no. Instant regret. Instant regret. Nope. That's bad. That's really fucking bad. How much help this guy? I mean, this guy can still an alright man. Oh god. Oh jeez. What the fuck was that? That was fun. Oh wait, he's not paying attention? Okay, if not paying attention, then fuck you then, I guess. And then he bats me for a 15 balance. Screw it. Just magged him for thousands, I mean, hey. There's no point, like, we're firing one after one, because he's just gonna out-trade me if he died if I do that. I mean, I was dead anyway, so... It's okay. It's alright. Uh, those... <laughs> Some scroller, yeah, okay. Uh, I just, I'd not respect it now. I know, I'm fully feeling how that's gonna go. I'm fully feeling. Really funny feeling how that's gonna go. Alrighty, alrighty indeed. See how this goes. I, I have mean, got an idea of what Tinker should play. What tank should I play? Oh, fucking 800 vehicles is just... Uh, is that even cl including Cold War or...? Oh no. I don't think it is including Cold War. Yeah, 25 vehicles, Cold War, 800... Oh, Jesus Christ, 826 vehicles. <laughs> yes, I am mixed at this game, yes, I, 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 I am. Eh, 55 is alright. Um, nah, I'll probably stick to World War 2. I'll stick to World War 2. Um, 
I don't know, is it worth playing a tier 10? If I play a tier 10, what should I play? I don't often play tier 10s and 9s, I tend to play 8s. Because I just prefer 8s, um, despite the shitty matchmaking they get. 10s are just not my thing because you don't make credits and. Mm. E. Ooh! T790, that could be fun. No, uh, why not? Let's play T790. Let's play the Apocalypse Tank combo that gets strong tank, yes? I just got an elite crew in it, right? I think it's my medium tank crew. Or what am I doing? Yeah, it's my medium tank crew because it's got Deadeye and um, I Mace on it. I'm just using my Soviet mediums because uh, they make the AP room stupidly good, like decent. Yeah, you can't go wrong, Fred Bang. Good, excellent, excellent, Brent. Good, you knew good. You got, you, you've been up too much then, or playing anything, or. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's all right. Alright, cool. Third farm. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm, gu I'm guessing the heat by you is fucking awful. Um, so, uh, you know, I guess you're glad I got home. <laughs> I was actually had earlier doing errands, have run out, running errands and stuff, and it was literally like I wanted to die. So, but I got put myself a big bottle of coke in the fridge, so I'm waiting for that to chill. Probably have that later on. Wanna get her a bit thirsty, so that's my plan anyway. Though we've we got work all day tomorrow, which is just ass, but oh well. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna fight Zero Line. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, should be alright. I mean, I'm playing a 7 on Nero. As long as they're not spamming heat at me, my opponent should hold up. Though it's like always like it's, there's always been one of those vehicles where it's not really been overpowered, but it's not really been like you know it balanced because it's not really overpowered. Because second, like you know how to fucking kill it, you can kill it. But if you're a low tier tank, go fuck yourself. You can't do anything to it. It's like one of those, like I think this is like one of the few tanks I'd probably make the argument for having like fucking minus zero, like plus zero matchmaking. So it's these tier ten and tier ten games only. With only tier 10 tanks, maybe minus one plus zero. So you see tier nines as well. Some tier nines can be built with it, but should not be against tier eights. Uh, e 100 you can sort of deal with in a tier eight, just about. I7 same thing, same thing again, but this thing just no. Your tier eight, good luck. <laughs> yeah, the E100 combat. All right, what else I got though? This moment, I wish I brought an optics in this thing. Guaranteed they got a TD or something back though, it's just not going to be fun. Yeah, it's got a T50 on the flank there, that's awkward. Alright, focus on bullying this 100. And I'm on fire. And I'm trapped. And I'm dead. Everything should be fine, they said. Everything should be good. Yeah, that was just painful. Well, rough and forget what happened, because that was a complete fucking display. <laughs> oh my god. And that's, that's why folks don't play tier 10 that much, because tier 10's just. <laughs> oh, mad. The, playing tier 10s does make me salty. Just a little bit. Just a little bit salty. Cause that's probably gonna lose me like 50k credit or something stupid now. Ooh, T 50 Pro. Not tank I've not really played in a while. Uh, nah, I'm not got any fruit boosters. 
Even though the pre XP boosters aren't great, this is like one of the few tanks that's probably worth having pre XP boosters to run on it. Archer Region was a defeat. Ah, that was to be expected, though, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. 48.6%. Eh. It's not, not horrible. I don't know, I'll play this thing. But the t uh, I mean, the, e e the um, T54 E2 is just better in every fucking way because they gave that thing an autoload for some reason, but. Even though it was the only the E1 and I believe the standard T54, which had a um, heavy tank prototype, which had the uh, auto loading mechanisms. Because it was the standard T54 was meant to be the conventional turret of the auto loader, E1 the oscillating turret, and then E2 was meant to be the single shot conventional gun plus turret. Yeah, that's alright though. Oh god, tier 10 game. Again. Oh no. Same number of tier 10s at least, and we get the extra 9, so I guess it's not all bad. It depends if our tier 10s are good or not. But they'll probably be garbage. Because that's just the trend. That's just the, the trend. Typically, your, your top tiers are going to be typically garbage. Which is one of those weird things, but I think that's just them, um, you know, what are tanks in a nutshell, really. Because why do people play tier 10s? Well, the obvious answer is to seal club on tier 8s. So, if we go by that logic, you got everyone playing tier 10s as a highly competitive super uni. A lot of them are just average players that want to pad, pad out against tier 8s, which is fair enough, I guess. Could be me just talking shit, but that tends to be the way it goes. It's alright though, it's fine, we'll make this work. And yes, I'm using standard AP and not loading to APCR straight away, so I'm probably gonna get die now, but it's fine. I actually want to at least see if I can make some credits by making the AP work, because you can make the AP work. As long as you've got about 220 average base pen, you can usually make it work against the majority of tier 10s. And oh, oh, okay, that was just a bad spot to stop. Oh, that's just, yeah. This is just awkward, though. This is just awkward. That's all this is, just awkward. Meanwhile, I, I, I show some super good gameplay by driving into rocks, because rocks are like... Worst... Oh god. That's me. That's my fault not paying attention. Bounced. Bet that was the one part of the turret I actually hit with armor, right? Was, that was the one part of the turret that actually had armor. Okay. Fuck it. 20 odd seconds. Real for mag of weak CR. I don't know how I'm gonna make this. It's just gonna be awkward. Um, my team's already getting their ass kicked, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, of course, it's back. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna work. Not going well at all. Then I was kind of want to just die and get out of this game and try again. Alright. That was just unlucky. Alright, fuck it. I'm not gonna reload my traps and fill my traps in time, most likely. Yeah, that scope is gonna come out and make me. Yep. Ah, well, you have you usually have it a few games you suck out. Nothing you can do about it. Except play better. I could definitely have played that better. Definitely. Oh well. Hey, at least I'm at least I'm not playing a T52 prop for marks anyway. Um, I don't know, I'm just pretty slack around the tank to see where I end up on. Yeah, it's a cliff over. Let's, let's see where I end up on. Let's put crew in it, whatever the fuck it is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Probably. Now I would play this if I had equipment on it. I've got any equipment on any of these. Fuck, I have a lot of stuff I've already equipped. All right then. Uh, okay. I do fancy like playing the TSX though for a change. Um, what about the Fury? I haven't played the Fury in a long time. Yeah, American medium. So we've got me two. Yay, both of those need to be re-equipped anyway. Fury's still got equipment in it. Um, 
Oh, it's got the 3D commander on it. Why did that? I didn't even assign that commander. It just well, it was assigned to this tank. That's weird. Um, elite cruise. There we go. Let's get this commander instead. The original wall that he grew. Uh, chuck that sign. Yeah, I don't care. I'm going back to barracks. Cheek with a point, I'll drag it out because I need to train that crew up anyway. And I got full equipment on this that can't go wrong. We put have a little mini break from the high tiers and play some low tiers. I probably still get tier again. <laughs> All right. Um, mark some. Oh, yeah, a move requirements in this is 1500 for the third mark. Okay, that's not bad. Though, though it's still a lot higher than the E2 and the E8, just kind of, which, well, I guess it does make sense because it's a premium, right? But it's good. It's all good. Um, and it is, okay, tier 6 game. Alright. I will take that. I will take that. Um. Uh. Do -do -do. Switch over to Sabaton. I mean, I would listen to Soviet March, but except they're not playing a Soviet tank, so it makes no sense. <laughs> oh, I still remember back in 2014 when this tank was added to the game. And it was like the best thing ever. Back then, well, I guess it, well, sort of. I mean, it was just a showman, but it was fun. Fun to play. Still, it's sort of fun to play, but you just need to get those top tier games. Tier, tier 7 games, you can make it work, but against tier 8, just cry. Just cry, that's what you can do. Though, I, I personally think they should buff the 76mm M182 to have the same penetration stats as the T23 E3, where it's at least on a level then, where it's actually competitive. You know, with 144 base pen and like 196 of APCR, instead of 177, 128 respectively. Uh, fuck it, far on the move. Just didn't target, but. And this is where I can put the thing to work. Alright, uh, turret. Oh, hi, this dude! Is that still gonna do it? Yeah, it's still gonna do it. Bye bye, stuck with a diff. That was a low roll. Well, actually, I can't really say that's a low roll because then I'd be saying every single shot is a low roll these days. <laughs> the low roll, though, we did like 20 less damage than I should have. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, he's good. Is this? Oh, okay. So I can sort of angle him a bit, man. You have to sort of go around on there. Oh no! KV1! Spacing! No, 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 no. That's fine. Oh, that's the Sentinel I was firing earlier, right? I mean, I did take a bit of, a bit of pounding there because I kind of could have played better, a bit safer, but that's eh, fine. Just tier 6, we get the ship. And when you, when you play as tank, you're like, how fast you reload, you just want to just DPM everything in the face. Just, like, die. Okay, everyone, take, take, take a few hits. Get heavy, tank. You can do it. You can do it, I believe in you. I believe. Oh, god damn it. This is what I mean, fast pacer. In before you cut, that's me off there. Yeah, it's alright. Problem solved. That's poodle. TP. It's fine though. That was alright though. 20, 2100 combined. Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Given that I haven't played the Fury in a while anyway. Or even any of the Shermans. I've literally not touched any of the Shermans in such a long time. 
big sad. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back to play the tanks. Not really too bothered about what happens in that game. What happens, happens. Uh, okay. Uh, the 2 on E games would at least. Uh, somewhat surprising. And uh, surprisingly, that game of Vindicate was one. Okay, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Because I'm trying to get my win rate up in that thing. Though sucking out does not help with that. <laughs> uh, it's alright. Um, yeah. Alright. What else can I play? What other tanks should I play, I wonder? Hmm. I guess I could play some Cold War. Uh, play a battle to Cold War, why not? Just while I'm here, just why not? Because, you know, it'll just net me a stupid amount of credit, so. Let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, play the Rise. Have I got some credit boosters left? Yeah, I still got a few left, it's alright. Activate those. And I think it might be something activating the MOBAT. I will check now. Uh, no, I just mounted it from that. Good, 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 good. good. Um, Alright, sure. Mediums. And um, just play a quick game in the M60 Rise. Because it's, 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 it's a good tank, it's a decent performer. Just. Rise. Hi, buddy. Cold War isn't a dead game mode, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it's fine. It's alright. I mean, still got players, but literally all it is is bot farming. Hence why it's good for credits, because you get bots in live games. <laughs> it just, it just. So you just farm them, and you get stupid about the damage. It's like, oh well done, you've got 400k credits. I'm proud of you. Uh, have I got like a specific order thanks for this? Goodness. I think I have, but it's, it's probably like mostly Ramsteam, I guess. Right? I haven't a fucking clue. At least play this. Uh. Yeah, screw it, have I got. Yeah, shut up, some here. Yeah. I'm here with soundtrack. God, these queue times, man. Wow. I'm given like, like era two. Like, I mean, it's been out like now for a few months. You'd expect these a few people era two. God, it's never mind what era three matchmaking is like. And bear in mind, like, that's where they released all the premiums. In, is in like era two, just because they need to like fill out, like you know, fill out the fucking matchmaking slots. So you know, best way to do it is get people to buy era two tanks and then go from there. But oh well, it's fine. Oh yeah, Mullionimics. We've got enemies in the area. Either take them all out or capture their base. Let's roll. A good old Mullionic. No, well, is it Mullio? Oh uh, fucking I don't know. I'm not bothering pronouncing it. Correctly, and this is <laughs> see what I mean about all the fucking mobats <laughs> and all the fucking Cobra cards. I mean, it doesn't help the fucking complete you like kind of insanely broken old power tags, in my opinion. From playing them, I think I've got like a fucking 70% win rate in my fucking mobat because it's just fucking easy mode, just 
fucking ram people at 70 kilometers an hour and just like, haha, I weigh 70 tons and I fucking rammed you like at 70 kilometers an hour, take a thousand damage. And now also take 500 damage from me and good, die. That's, this, that's actually literally the mobile that I shot. And the Hesh is filthy as well. Like if you if you use the Hesh against the fucking M60s, but excluding the Rise, because Rise obviously has space armor to be resistant against it. But the Hesh against like the M60, M60, one and E, three just yeah. If you're playing those tanks, I feel sorry for you because you just get blad for 600 damage. You can't do anything about it. Uh, but hello, Ren. Hello. Ah, uh, yeah, that was just a bad trade. Why am, why am I trying to trade with a C72 AB that's all down? Because I'm retarded, that's why. Now, it could be worse, you could have smacked an AT gem at my Coppola and then I would be crying because I would have lost a thousand damage, but, well, a thousand health, but. It's alright. It's okay. I, uh, it's not over yet. Uh, okay, it's the M60. I'm very disappointed that shot missed. <laughs> Actually, that should not have missed. <laughs> F my life. That's the mobile app and hold down, where it's a pain he has to deal with, that's the head spray. Uh, this is just awkward. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty bad. Yeah, fuck you, this. I'm gonna deal with you, aren't I? Yeah, this game hates me today. <laughs> Maybe I should not play Cold War. Oh, who knows? I mean, like, his is just gonna be a pain in the ass, and I can't literally. If I chase up them to shut him down, I'll get fucked by these guys. But if I fight these guys, he's gonna come back and, and root my ass. I can't do anything about it. Or he's just gonna cap out, which is kind of weird. But sure, you do you, I guess. Because I'm not going back to defend that. Because that's just stupid, because I'll just get killed by these guys, so. Yeah, I'm literally just getting outplayed here. I'm just getting absolutely yet. Yep, that was just painful. Um, I want to die now. Uh, what's this on? What's that console? Oh, Intel! What do I think of console? Ah. Uh. Uh, 9.30 UTC time, official Xbox Twitch channel. Oh, okay, okay. They're doing a Q&A on the Xbox Twitch channel, alright. Ooh, I'm... Ooh, uh, yes, about that. Okay. I mean, that's fine, I mean... I mean, if we want to test console devs, we'll do a Q&A on the Xbox Twitch channel. That would be any interesting. It'll probably just be like how the game's going and stuff, like development and all that stuff, so... Probably not interesting to be honest, but I don't know, I might, I might watch it, or I might just catch up on it, I don't know, fuck it. Right, I'm tempted, do I want to wait for the Rise to come out of battle or play something else? Because I actually kind of do need credits and that was just fucking painful. Because the more bats are balanced, comrade. Literally, like, so balanced. <laughs> it's just the most retarded tank in this game. How, like, what, what is it with retarded tank? Well... 405 millimeters of penetration, which is on the upper end for every two, which is not bad. 570 alpha damage, so it just says hello to enemy vehicle and then disappear as the hit points. It's also got the most hit points at era fucking three uh, or era two. Um, also retarded, well, really, really good view range. And oh, yeah, 72 kilometers per hour top speed. Yeah, okay. And what, what's the engine power like? Uh, a, a lot. Like, you know, 2000 fucking horsepower. So, you know, you got a horsepower to ratio of like fucking, like, tw yeah, like fucking 32.58 like horsepower per ton. So it's a heavy boy, and you got that powerful engine. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah. But you know what they say, if you can't beat him, join him. So I'll play this, I guess. Because it is just the most easy mode tank to play in the game now. If you're fuck, you know, C72 AV's been up, you know, this thing, this thing is just ridiculous, because, yeah, while the AV does get the fucking 80 gems, um, and is really spicy, this thing has the mobility and the alpha just to basically put the fucking C72 AV in its place. It just says hi, and then it just, the AV just disappears, but, but yeah, 
was it? <laughs> I don't know. Am I questioning? Was it a mistake to give all these away for free on Fucker Battle Pass? Probably. Probably was a mistake, but I'm not gonna complain. I mean, it could be worse. It could be like um, I remember many, many, many moons ago when it first gave away the T54 mod one in the Motherlands with the Motherland skin. Um, well, when it was basically well, still cast as a separate premium actually. Because uh, when they first gave that away, I think back in like 2015, it was literally like all you had to do is 50,000 experience in like a month, and then like within about two weeks, that's all you had. Oh, every game was just mod one, mod one, mod one. It was, that was it. That was it. <laughs> that was the extent of the matchmaking. It, it wasn't World of Tanks anymore. It was World of Tanks T54 mod ones. <laughs> oh, when the Type 59 first released, that, that was kind of mental. World of Type 59s because everyone thought it was going to be OP and when it came to console when everyone was hyped up because of the, the way it was on PC then they got it and it's like oh it's kind of meh. It's so, alright, it was a good tank but it was very very, very meh in reality. Alright, I just traded with him, that's fine. Is he going to peek again? He can peek there again? Nope, 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 yeah he is. Get pen on that one. It's fine. It's fine though. Um. Yeah, alright. I don't really want to engage at T72. There, I want to pr probably going to support this flank here. Because that looks like where most of the fight is, and that's probably where I'm going to get more damage. Which would be alright. So I think I I'm going to do that. I think that's going to be the plan. Let's see how this goes. Also, can I, war game? Can I make a request, please? Can can you add the M the M M five two six? I think is it the M five two six Scorpion from Halo? Can can I have that in the game, please? <laughs> I mean, it's got Cold War era technology. It would easily it could easily fit World War Two mode. To be fair, like is this like 50s technology? That that's literally it. But <laughs> can I, please? Oh hi. I'll just take that kill, please. Uh, tanks, 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 where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. You can pick up there on you. No. That was a snapshot and a half. I mean, I've done only a thousand damage, but I feel like you can. That I feel like I can get that snowball about now. See what I can do against this guy. Is he paying attention? Nope. And he bounced. So I'm probably never run to him. No, he's dead. Alright, I guess I'll shoot you then. Ah, oh, you're self healing! Oh, no. Oh, no. And I'm trapped as well, so I'm gonna die here. Bounce, 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 please, please, bounce, bounce. Nah, bounce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if things are going good, don't say they're going good, because they'll instantly go to shit. That's a lesson I should have learned a long time ago. Oh, it's alright though. That's fine. I've got a reach down track on this burst. Better, better do. I mean, the reach down track is the best soundtrack. Oh yes, I got tip of speed in this play list, it looks good. Alright. Uh that could have gone better. Eh, it's alright though. Sometimes I'm making credits and somewhat contributing to my teams, so it's alright. You got to even good players have bad days, it's fine. Let's see how this goes. But I'm like nearly sitting on two more credits, which is alright. Alright, the right should be out of battle. And that's not even one of my best cruises as well, that's like one I'm training up. Uh, that's a victory? Okay. And I did absolutely fucking nothing that battle. Um, I am not proud of that. But it's fine. I'm gonna make it. You know, let's say best out, best out of three. Let's have another one. Yeah, I just have that selected and just make it easier. Yeah, I should have put the boost on the mobile actually, because the mobile looks fucking bank. I think it's got the 65% credit boost, if I'm not mistaken. I think it has. Oh no, this has got no the no the rise got 65% credit boost, the mobat's got the commander boost, so it's gonna be 50% silver I think. 
And that's how they worked out, because I'm pretty sure the MOBAT is effectively meant to be the crew trainer for US tanks at the moment. Like, the Ural is supposed to be the crew trainer for the Soviet era stuff, because it's got the commander boost and not the uh, maximum credit output boost. But it's fun. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh, Stalker's quite popular at the moment. Actually, no, that's not actually that big. But, alright. Fear's enough. Come on, right. Come on, Rise, get the game. Yeah, I love how they pick a mobat, you get a game instantly because it's just more than mobats <laughs> for Call of War. Unless you play the Cobra Cat. Because the cover catches the mobat is just faster but less agile. So it's like faster, but it's less agile, but it still hit like rams like a brick. It literally rams like a fucking ten ton truck. It's just crazy, and it has more alpha damage, so I guess that's what's probably a bit, a bit more niche, but still like probably stupidly good. The cowbang. Only a Cold War map I fucking hate. Cowbang. Like, I just don't like how this map plays. It just plays like ass. <laughs> but it's okay. It's alright. What was it? What are we looking at? Um, again, Mob a shit ton of Mobats. I'm team's got Mob Mobats. In fact, they got two fucking Cobra Cats as well. So, um, if I was to give the this 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 game to anyone and I was gonna put a bet on, I would say the enemy team are probably gonna win. Just because of fucking these things, like they basically got six, effectively six more bats. So. Like we got more AVs, but looks of things, but more bats are like stupidly stupidly strong. Like especially the Cobra Cat as well, because the Cobra Cat is literally just a mobile bat with more alpha damage and it doesn't really have the weak spot on the whole. I mean, the hole is, well, pretty much just as strong as the mobile, but it doesn't have that flat plate where the driver's who port is and you shoot that and you kill the driver every time. Or potentially set on fire. M60 Rise. Best tank. It was not, actually, to be fair. It was the best tank in Cold War. Um, at least before they added the fucking mobat. <laughs> oh, my god. Alright, what's that? It's that Cobra Cat. Uh, oh yeah. But I guess the thing you've got to remember when you play... Like, it's weird because uh, when the M60 Rise came out, right, this was supposed to be the brawler. While the T62M1, despite having somewhat better armor, was supposed to be the sniper because of the way the gun flash limitations and stuff. And it sort of makes sense, but now this, like, this thing is literally a full-on support tank, and that's all you can do. And yeah, this is why I don't like Cow Bang, because it plays like fucking ass. This is why I hate this map. Because of course the team will get there and they can shoot you and you can't shoot back at them. Um, meanwhile your team just gaggle fucks on this corner. Which is annoying. Oh, I fucking hate this map. Like, Des Fall, um, I, I actually like Des Fall. Um, in fact, that's one of the few, the, out of all the few call, four call up. Blech. The four Cold War maps they actually added, Des Fall was the one I actually like because Des Fall is the one um, that actually works in pretty much both game modes effectively. Um, because they're like multiple positions you can take. Cow Bang is just a clusterfuck. It just doesn't work. Yeah, and you know what I said about the enemy team probably being the ones to win? Uh, yeah. <laughs> not, not, not changing my mind on that. Let's see how those mobats do against this battle. Alright. Not hit the M60, not T62, but it's fine. Sounds like I'm doing some damage. Someone. Alright, activate rations, still on max DPM. Let's see if we knock these tanks out. 
I mean, while I've still got half, at least half my hit points, I should still be combat effective, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let's see if I'm turning this battle around, because... Like, I really do not want to, you know, guess right, the enemy team wins right at the start of a battle. Just, just because the composition they have is just far superior to ours. Let's see if I can actually make it count. Come on! Alright, he's just dead. Um, I'm on like 2k damage, so that's really not great. I mean, I think for three marks and something, you need to target something like 6k or something, or 5.6k. And this is what, yeah, they're gonna break up for the middle now, and those guys that were gaggle fucked on that corner are literally just gonna get encircled down and they're gonna die. Just kind of fucked. That's why I don't like this map, because this map plays like gas. This is Mobass not paying attention, so I'm farming him. Come on, give me fuel tank, fuel tank fire. Oh, I'll track him. Was on for a pen there, but he's attracted him and immobilized him. There we are. Let's see him turn this around. There's that AB there. Oh god, Cobra Cats and T72A. Both are fairly full health. Hmm. I mean, it's team destruction as well, so they're, all they're going to do is they're just going to pile on that one medium tank that we can't support, and then they're just going to come and r rush us in force. And I've no, yeah, this T62 is going to get F, so I'm going to get F. Um, what's the AV doing? Is the and that other AV just snob sniping? Okay, all right. But yeah, I can't do anything about this. This I literally cannot do it, and it's just so annoying. Because yeah, this M60 is, is just a bad, in a bad, bad position. All right, can engage this guy. Track this T72A. Activate rations. We track him again. And just hope the team fucking focus fire him down. Alright, it's too sharp, and then now the mobat, the M68 free is there. Like, like, like I say, this is literally just desperate last stand right now. Come on, I thought, didn't I have a shot on just then? There we go. Just weaved it. Retract him. Come on, there we go, T60 knocked him out. Still not confident about winning this, but it's going better than it was. Right, he's he's going to go past this rock, isn't he? I'm at T other T72 at least as low. Um. Oh my god, is this guy AFK or something? I think he's AFK. Yeah, he's AFK. Yeah, this is dub. This is fucked. This is fucked because that guy's gone AFK. He's not like re aiming. Like, he, th there was like a tank right in front of me. He could one shot there. Alright. Um, I ain't left. Oh, I get a shot on him. Yeah, no, this Cobra Cat's gonna fucking nuke me to oblivion. And I can't pull back, I can't do anything, I'm literally pinned. I hate fucking retards like that. Like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna like play like a top era 2 heavy tank and they're sitting in the sniper position and uh, because I'm, I'm I'm just retarded and uh, my team is gonna lose now because I'm not putting any, like, any, any sort of like effort into playing the game, um, I'm just gonna go AFK and uh, like sit here like a fucking retard and die. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna report for idol slash bond, because fuck you. you know. Like, like, yay, you know, I'm just gonna like go to this position and go FK because I'm a, such a fucking twat. Hey, whoopee. Fuck it. <laughs> Pisses me off, but hey, it is it, what it is, like. But look, look at that, though. Look at, like, see, this is effort. Right, what was this dude, right? Yeah, like, he provided one shot of damage and then he went AFK. What a rock, what is wrong with you, dude?
You know, just, yeah, just get a report. Just, just fuck you. Just, yeah, just idle bot. Report, yeah, because... I, like, I don't give a shit. If, you, if you're like, ah, you just fog one shot and you're AFK because the battle's not going your way, you know, you can just go fuck yourself. At least try. Uh, at least try, dude. But, yeah, it's fine, though. I mean, I, I'm happy with my performance, given that... I, I fucking pretty much called it at the start of the battle. I knew it was going to be a defeat. I knew it was going to be a defeat. I just looked at the enemy team's composition, I was like, yeah, they've got fucking, like, six mobats, effectively, because they've got the two Cobra Cats plus the four normal mobats. And those tanks are just OP. I mean, these these two guys didn't do too well on them, but hey, you know, they've probably due to the vehicles have just got them. But then you have these guys, literally 8k damage, fucking 6k damage on their own. Um, <laughs> so, you know, they pretty much fucking called it. Called the game right then, but as you know, it's alright. I mean, I did 6.1k damage, direct, 2k assist, got a couple kills. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's just, you know, just a bit annoying because. Be honest, that that AV was playing, given it was full HP, it could have actually contributed. And we, I mean, I'm not saying it would have been, it would have changed the game or anything. It probably wouldn't have, but at least it would have been a lot closer than it was. You know, the end of the day. Well, I just completed an op. What, what, did, I just, what did I just complete? Uh, play bring attack. Wait, what? Did it change the play bring option? You have to, you do it mediums. Because that's just stupid. Destroy three more vehicles undetected and... Okay, that's just retarded. Who fucking decided that was a condition? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put like, a medium tank and like, or, um, go for undetected kills because that makes sense. Yeah, I'm really going to be like, you know, running a full fucking camo build on a fucking T-55A and be like, oh, attack destroyer 100%. No, no. I mean... In the K90 world or something, okay, there's a few medium tanks you that is possible in, but fucking Christ. <laughs> I bet you're gonna be seeing people playing like fucking E50Ms just trying to do it, and it's just not gonna work, because they just don't have cap. <laughs> oh no, oh no is indeed. Oh no is indeed. Alright, let's fucking. Let's see what else is on there. I'm sure I've got, uh, yeah, I'm sure I've got a water tanks playlist. What's the water tanks playlist? It's just, it's just basically sat, it's just a mix of everything, isn't it? Yeah, because this is not even my playlist I made, this is a random playlist. <laughs> oh, well, fuck it, I just play this playlist long because I can't be asked changing the songs all the time. It's okay, it's alright. I mean, as much as Halo music's fucking awesome, but, you know, it's alright. But yeah, I love that though. Like the the game I fucking play trash in is a win, but the game I actually try is a defeat. <laughs> oh, oh, it's alright. It's okay. All right, let's give this another go. But actually, it's time with my proper elite crew because I was like, no, not not that crew because I have to pay gold and I haven't got gold in my account, and I'm not paying getting gold just to transfer a water stream mode over. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Stays online. Eh, uh, fuck it. I'll just join his party. Let's see what he wants to do. All right. A short man from Texas, a man hey, the dude. Wild, Yo, how you doing? But but how was work? Yeah, it's because I'm on PC. I'm actually streaming right now, so yeah, so it's fine. But yeah, I've, I've got like, like just like you know a few viewers, so it's fine. Say what the fuck you want, I don't care. <laughs> if I get banned from Twitch, I get banned from Twitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. But, um, yeah, how are you doing? I'm just playing World of Tanks, and yeah, or oh, as usual. Tally and Meatballs are out. Not gonna say if they're worth getting or not, because they're probably not, but, you know, they're out. Yeah, they're. they're yeah, they're basically a load of shit, yeah. They 100% need buff. 100% need buff. No, what, no, I do want to transfer that crew. What, what the fuck am I doing? No, not that crew. Um, filters. Yeah, there we are. There we go. That's the crew I want to transfer. Yeah, just playing a bit of Cold War mode and World War 2 mode and World of Tanks because I'm bored of shit, so. Plus, I need grind credits like crazy anyway. I guess you'd be playing Fallout? Bot free still or fair, fair enough. 
cool. Cool, cool, cool. One achievement that is literally it. Always, co always comes down to that. Always comes down. Shivering Arnold, is it? Yeah. I've not played Oblivion in ages. Like, it's annoying because every time I get around to playing Oblivion, I'll like literally play so far through it. I'll always do the thing you always start, which is go to the arena, complete the arena quest line just for some credit, um, some gold, and then I'll get like half through the main quest, and then I always end up restarting the game. I don't know why. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fair. Yeah, because don't don't you get like um, what what did, like, in it, it like when it was like random like microtransactions DLC you should get the like, quest uh not quest um uh, at home, in it or is it yeah, I've only got the main DLC. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Alright, Mobat. Oh my god, the amount of Mobat. <laughs> Cold War matchmaking is Ali's comrades. <laughs> to be fair, like. Cold War mode like was balanced until they decided to add a shit in the premiums to it, and then it completely broke the matchmaking for it. Especially now you can get the more back from the season pass, and it's just like everyone just playing that because it's literally one of the best fucking tanks in the game, and it makes ridiculous credits. But it's all good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be happy though, because I think in a few weeks the, that's when the. Uh, New Cold War light, yeah, yeah, Cold War light tank lines come out. Pretty, probably be beginning of August, I reckon it'll come out. So like, basically next week or the week after. They'll probably announce them officially next week, and then you'll probably see them the week after. Meanwhile, I'm just listening to Sabaton right now. The Sabaton's best band. Oh god, all the mobats. This is not fun. This is not fun. I'm literally, I'm literally alone on this corner. Oh my god. Welcome to World of Tanks, comrade. Where we have like players, there's like a whole gigantic thing along the map, but we all sit behind one dude. And let him fight the corner alone, and we do no, no support for him. Because, yeah. Welcome to World of Tanks, guys. Uh, sounds like Keith is much fine though. Uh, but yeah, you've been left to much aside from Oblivion and shit, and the Fallout and shit is there. Not there, pretty much. Oh, same. It was literally like, I was literally like in and out, it was literally just got the jab, I was like, okay, I don't feel anything, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> that was it. Be watching Walking Dead and stuff, and watching other TV shows. Um, where else? Oh yeah. Um, finished Far Cry 5 and DLC. I think I mentioned that the other day to you. Um, like I say, it was kind of meh, but not as bad as I thought it was, but still kind of meh. Um, started playing Primal, and that's the sound of someone dying. <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah, start playing Primal. Primal's kind of a weird game. So it's, it's alright. It's kind of strange, but it's alright. It's not bad. Well, except New Dawn. New Dawn is fucking butt cancer, because that's how bad that game is. At least in my opinion, it's butt cancer, because they, they, they're just stupid. Haha, <laughs> TCMG2 AV. I'm in more bad. They're better than you. Haha. <laughs> Because you know, 130 millimeter gun is balanced, and then you have the Cobra Cat, which is even better because it has a 140 millimeter gun. Because <laughs> you know, balance exists apparently. 
Oh yeah, it doesn't have the current whole weak spot as well, the little bat has, which just makes it flat or better. Hence why I kind of want to pick it up, but I don't know if I am going to pick it up. If I do, it'd be like, points on sale. Like, when the base bundles come out. Come on, Moba, peek, peek me. So I want to, I want to blast you in the face. Oh god, that was a random bounce. Kind of lucky. Okay. What is this game's going? No, just your names. Yeah, so I, I see you there. I don't need. I don't need the ridiculous zoom mod equipment to see you all the way back there because the zoom mod equipment's kind of pointless. Like the cheap, like only going to be useful probably on tank destroyers when tank destroyers come to portable mode. And even then, there's no point using them, probably. So you just use anything else to buff up your view range. So you get the outlines anyway. Oh, Boba, did you shoot the dirt? I shoot you this. And I'm gonna load the hash because I can eat the pen your hole. And I'll have rid of you. I bet he's not gonna load the hash to shoot me. But I can load the hash and shoot him and do such a damn for shot. It's balance, apparently. Ah, oh, fuck it, Toro. The one because I didn't want to hurt. Uh, and he's low health now anyway. So the hash shell should just kill him. And uh, spot on the AV out. And he can go fuck himself. Okay. Oh, uh, nose. Oh, nose. I mean, it's still a thousand HP, so it still takes two hits, so it's not it's not the end of the world. And the game's pretty much over now, anyway. Oh. Though, speaking of Fallout, I am still contemplating if it's worth me playing Fallout 4. Though, I don't really want to put time into that pile of dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing at all. This is the sheet, nothing. <laughs> yeah, oh, nose. Yeah. Oh, that's Twilight like Thunder God. That's a good song. And that was. Uh, yeah, it was alright game. 6.7k damage, 1.3k assist, 220k credits made, and I don't even think I had a booster active. <laughs> Bet I didn't have a booster active either. Yeah, I didn't even have a booster active. I should have, if I had a booster active, that would have been an easy 400k credit game. Nice. Alright, that's me done with Cold War. I'm gonna go back to Cold War 2 for a bit, play the Pissante a bit more. Or as I like to call it, the Trash Ante. Or the Shit Ante. Or the Piss Ante. Because <laughs> it's just that bad. But yeah, I'm somehow being able to get. <laughs> Spaghetti Todd <tonnery>. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, might as well be. 10 me gold meatball. <laughs> Alright. I'm a top tier. Looks like I'm top tier. Yes, I am. That's good. Oh, a, lot of a couple of tier 6s I can bully too. Because the jewel isn't as good as bullying tier 6 tanks. That's the jewel is good at. Has about the same amount, of same DPM as some tier sixes. <laughs> In fact, the bet some tier threes have higher DPM than this thing. 
head wobbles. Ah. <sighs> yeah, it sucks though, like, even though I've got the game with the edition of Oblivion, it only has the main DLCs, so it just makes me sad. Oh yeah, yeah. Horse armor, best DLC in game. Yes. You want your horse to look yellow and piss-like? If, if yes, press the X button. If no, still press the X button to buy the DLC, because we all know you want that, actually. Oh, high five, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. But you know, that's just, yeah. But that's just best in a nutshell though, right? It's like, yeah, we're, we're still going to sell the horse armor DLC that no one fucking wants, but yeah, for some reason we're just not going to sell Old World Blues anymore. For New Vegas. Unless you buy the Game Boy Edition. No, you, you, you literally cannot buy it anymore. I had a look, like, because I was going to buy it separately, so I didn't have to fucking install, um, well, put, basically find my DLC disc every time I want to play New Vegas. It's like, no, it's not unavailable. Uh, okay, what am I sitting on? 1800 combined. Yeah, it's just stupid. Like, um, I think, yeah, you can get all three out of the four main DLCs. You can get three of the four, but the only one you can't get is all the blues. Dumb. I don't know really why, though. It's weird. It's like, no. Yeah. Yeah, on, on the main Xbox store, yeah, it's not, it's not there. On the 361, it's still there, but you can, if you can say where to buy it, attempt to buy it or bug out, because it'd be like, Give me Microsoft points is like those don't exist anymore. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know, it's fucking weird. T sixty nine. Oh hi Jamus, how you doing man? Bit long long time, Lucy. <laughs> Thanks for following us, Audi. But yeah, yeah, so, so about, uh, have you guys played the song team, was it? I, I can't remember, I, I think you were playing the Scorpion G, she just wrecked my team. But uh, yeah, that's all good. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, like, uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can't buy it anymore. I bet, like, if I was to go now, see the main store, it probably won't be there. Is it? Uh... Yeah, the full free DLC is still there, but um, for New Vegas, I'm pretty sure Boulder Blues is still unavailable. I'm just gonna chat now, actually, and then I'm just go before I go back to the thingy. Go back to that battle. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I've already owned the game. Don't wanna buy it. Yeah. So honest start to the Wilson Roads there. Deadman's the Gun Runners Arsenal there. Curry Stash, you can buy that again. Tavern packs unavailable. Unaudible Blues is unavailable. Classic packs unavailable. Unmerc pack and Trouble pack are, are, are unavailable. Which is just fucking stupid, but oh well. <laughs> like, Old World Blues is the best DLC for New Vegas as well. That's the, 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 the depressing thing. It's the, literally is the best DLC for New Vegas. Though, though you have people out there like that, like Dead Money's the best, but I just fucking hate Dead Money. <laughs> well, the story's redeemable, but the rest of it, <laughs> it's just like, uh. <sighs> yeah, yeah, cause, cause Veronica best companion in New Vegas cause equal balance, that's why. Like, you know, just chuck her in power armor with her upgraded power fist and then she just fucking kills everybody. Though to be fair, I, I just use Boone because Boone is, you know, oh, I was damn you do NCR characters so Boone's just nice to have. Despite Boom being the most fucking depressing character to be fucking around in that game. Until you do his quest, and even then he's still fucking depressing to be around. Because <laughs> that's, that's his character in a nutshell. Oh, yes, play trash. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yes. 
And that's why the Gruotron was invented as a mod <laughs> for every Bethesda game, because when Campania stand in doorways, it's just like, fuck you, get away, and please move, move. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Brick. Br brick best tank. Shh. Br brick is best tank in World of Tanks, 100%. I'm not lying to you, 100%. Uh, it is like, according to magic spreadsheets, it's the best tank in the game. Go by walking and watch it. God. Yeah, and she's the Nord, right? I haven't played Skyrim in years. Oh, I know, yeah, the... I know the DLC, the... New, is it? Like... Yeah, yeah, I know Dual Guard, yeah. Oh look, Blackjack killed himself already. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that is the peak of Bethesda level AI programming. That is the peak. <laughs> oh my god. Feels bad, man. I sit down in this random chair. Yeah. Well, to be fair though, Dawn Guard is like probably one of the best DLCs for Skyrim anyway, just because Vampire Lord or you can turn, turn into a werewolf, which is just fucking OP. Vampire Lord is broken as fuck, and then the werewolf is even more OP. Yeah, yeah, because the werewolf is even more OP, <laughs> to be honest. Because you're not affected by sunlight. Because you just, just go out there and just be like, oh look, I'm just going to transform to a werewolf in the middle of this bar and rip your throat out. Like, yeah, have fun. Stupid fucking NPC characters. I'm in before I get bullied by tier 6 because I'm playing the Brick. The Brick is the best tank in the game. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. It's, I'm not lying. <laughs> to be honest though. The... Oh god. I still remember the shit store where this tag released. I still remember it. It was the funniest shit ever. This tag is 8 degrees of gun depression. My ass. It does not have a decrease of gun depression. <laughs> and a two. Oh my god. Oh, I know, it literally had like plus two degrees of gun depression when it released. It didn't even have gun depression because it was bugged. And, and it had awful mobility. It still has awful mobility, hence all run mobility equi equipment on it just to try and make it somewhat competitive. The DPM used to be trash. It's still. It's alright now, but. It's still not a good tank. Like, there are better vehicles in tier 8. I'm just playing this with the fucking meat shits and giggles. I just find it hilarious when you do well in this thing, because you shouldn't be able to do well in it. Like, that, like, that shot was just pure luck. Yeah, even after the huge buff, it, uh, yeah, the brick is delayed. I mean, the only tank that's better than is the fucking T-77 and the Basanti, but that's because the Basanti is ass. Anyway, because I got nerfed as shit when it got added to the console. And the T77, like, you know, who wants to play an auto loader that takes like 50 seconds to reload for only a thousand damage and has no turret armor and no hull armor and no mobility? <laughs> oh, but it has really good pen. Okay, it's great. If you want good pen, play a tank destroyer. <laughs> that's literally it. Alright, I'm going to die here, but it's fine. It's fine. I mean, if I'm going for marks, I mean, like 2.1k anyway. Oh, thank you for the extra 200 damage. Stop. Please end my suffering. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Thank you for euthanizing this piece of shit tank. <laughs> Alright, let's see what these two TDs are up to. Oh, they came through to kill themselves as well. I don't know what it is with Cassarine and people just fucking killing themselves in this map. Like, literally, like, I, I was in a game before and literally took five players fucking kill, drive off a cliff and kill themselves in the first 30 seconds. I was like, what the fuck? What is happening? What is, what is this game? <laughs> oh, this Udez hasn't worked out how to... Oh no, he's, 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 learned, he's, he's learned to press the left D-pad and leave siege mode. Okay. 
Oh, 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 okay. He's, he's doing things. He's doing things. Uh, does he know she just died? Yeah, this game, this game's gonna be over in like 30 seconds. <laughs> it's right. Yeah, that Uday's just got fucking swag. I believe in you, SU-130. I believe, yes, firing on the move with that thing is the best plan. <laughs> best course of action. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, at least he got a kill on him. But he's just gonna get just destroyed by everything else. He's, well, he's a TD. That's like one versus like fucking eight. What's up right now? Or whatever the fuck it is. And he's on like 95 HP because... You know, best TD player. <laughs> it's fine though, it's alright. These things happen. And the atomic shut him down. Ah, oh, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, 2.5-ish K combined or just shy of that. And that's 75% max of X, because my MOE percentage dropped like a ton of bricks so that I'm playing this thing in such a long time. But it's okay. It's all right. As long as I'm making credits, uh, that's what I can really care for. Uh. Hmm. Don't ever like, like. I feel like something a few tier sixes, but things like none of my none of my tier sixes have equipment. Like no, I need to re-equip them all, and it's just annoying and tedious, and I can't be bothered. Oh, wasn't I? What's my MO percentage actually on the Panther 2? Because I, I might, I might see if I can free mark the Panther 2. It should be doable, I think it's going to be like 2200 damage and it's like really achievable with this thing. Because it's so good. Like when it got the, the um, long, the super long 88, it was just, it came, went from like an average good tank to an amazing force tank. Panther 2, that's the Panther 88, the Panther so many times to scroll through. I wish we had the old filter system. The old filters actually worked. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Schmolte needs it, like it really does. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it was. Oh yeah, because they had the Schmolte tower. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, yeah, it's just out of class now. That's literally it. Because the the thing is, like back then, like you're talking about, like what five six years ago, the game was a lot slower paced back then. So having a shitty slow turret reverse wasn't a problem. It was actually not that bad. But now, like with how fast the fucking gameplay is these days, it's like you you fucking need fast turret reverse. If you're running fast turret reverse, you're pretty effed unless you're playing a mouse where you can sort of cope with the slow turret reverse because you're always going to be angling it anyway. So you're going to be like angling it away just like about 30 degrees off your target and then just turn it back then to it when you're ready to reload and stuff. Where the fuck is the Panther 2? Oh, there he is. Alright, um, 91% damage standing. That's okay. And I've not played this thing in a long time, so I'm not hoping it just doesn't drop like a ton of bricks. Uh, command I'm using... Play the filters first before I do that. Okay, what I got? Frozen arms, repairs, that, that was really good. Situational awareness, rapid fire, steady aim, snapshot, smooth ride, iron mace, dead eye. Okay, that's, that's really good setup for this thing. Decent setup, that should mean I've got tier accuracy. Yeah, 0 0.1 to 2 1 dispersion. I will see if I can free mark this though. I'm hoping I can, but knowing me, I'll get super unlucky. So it always is the case when you go with marks. But hey, if I check here, what is the mark for I'm pretty sure it's about 2.2k. I'm pretty sure it is 2.2k. It is... Yeah, 2.1... Just, yeah. No, it wouldn't be 5k, it's tier Talking about tier 10 there. But, um, yeah, Panther 2, you need 2,158 minimum damage for three marks, okay. That's not bad. That's, that's achievable. That's achievable. You know, it's alright. 
Um, and it is a very, very heavy tier 8 game with a couple of tier 9s per side, which should be fine. Should be okay. Um, mm, I do make sure it's a similar store. That's the issue, because I, I would like to fight Hill, but I haven't really got the impression of fight Hill. And I haven't got really the armor to fight Heavy Tank Alley, so. Oh, fuck, I'll go Hill. Yeah, it's literally 10 pens, it's literally pop up. Like, it's, it's easy to achieve it. But you know, you never know. You can always get super unlucky. Like you end up getting like like smacked by a high alpha TD, ammo racked, and then you cry, and then you gotta do it again. But uh, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, like the only threat, the only tank that is really a threat on the enemy team um, is the E75. And everything else is sort of workable. If I ha if I can support, say, the heavies and stuff, which is what I'm relying on. I'm relying on some support from the heavies to soak the damage, and I'll just. Use them as meat shield for like farm the enemy team basically. Support? What is this? I've never heard heard of support in World of Tanks. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> this is where this happens. Cool first tank. But fine and fair now. Alright, those heavies are starting to get up there now. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, support doesn't really exist in World of Tanks because literally most of your teams just will camp spawn these days. <laughs> that is the extent of support. I, I camp spawn and do do things. Oh god, that's 124. Okay, that's one other tank I think I actually want to fight. Because he's got retarded DPM. Alright, I'll probably try another shot into him. Yeah, that fucked up. Yeah, that was not worth it. See what I mean by like running into TDs like right away? <laughs> It's already been funny. I fucking jinx myself. Yeah, I'm dead. Just yeah, yeah. This is this is this is why I should never go for marks because I always fuck myself over. But I'm close. It's fine. It's all right. I'll pretend that never happened or it's worth the damage back. <laughs> I'll, I'll just pretend it never happened and worth the damage back. It's fine. It's okay. Oh no. Oh well. Well, I'm waiting. Oh no, no I will. I will. I mean, you're talking to someone who free mark the fucking tog. Right? If I can free mark a tog, I can free mark anything in this game. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Yeah, uh, by the way, when I say I free mark the tog, I don't fucking lie. Look at this shit. Who the fucking. Who's this masochistic? Who's like. Yeah, I'm gonna free mark the slowest tank in the game, which is a big giant fucking meat shield. Which is a big XP pinata. <laughs> why the fuck wouldn't I? Alright, it's a bit of a salty. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm a fucking Mima, that's why, and who the fuck would. Like, like who who the hell actually tries for, to go for marks in the talk too? Like, usually if you get, like, like other, like. This is, like, a big thing, like, if you get, like, other streamers and community contributors and stuff on the PC side of stuff. It's like when they're like, oh, what tank shall I free mark next? They never vote to talk to. They just you just see them cry on the inside, they just die because they're like, no, I'm not doing that. Why would I do that? <laughs> and bear in mind, you got fucking turbo on uh, the turbo charging fucking equipment piece on on PC where you can actually get the to go at about 20 kilometers an hour, which makes it like actually semi usable, though it's still a big meat shield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which is a, a kind of a problem, though, to be fair though, you can, well, the, the talk to on PC is way better anyway, just because you can use the enhanced hardening thing anyway, and you have like a retarded amount of hit points on top of your retarded amount of hit points, and then you just put... Oh yeah, Black Friend stuff is pain. It's pain. It's literally like worse than a Churchill 7 stock. Because you, because a Churchill 7 would be good if it had gun depression, right? But at least you don't have to fight tier 9s in the 7 with that gun. On the Black Prince stock, yeah, have fun fighting the 75 with 144 pen. <laughs> have fun with that. You're gonna have a great game. Great game to be a tier 9 battle in the Black Prince stock. Oh, hi, MX30. Please bounce on me. And give me like 10 seconds to reload so I can maximize my non existent DPM. 
I think on this, I think I need to check on my, where I am with my markers on the Pisanti because I've been trying to get my first mark on this. Oh, hey, no, we're in two. Uh, but yeah, to be fair, there's a lot of tanks that are just absolutely garbage stock in this game. It's even worse now, actually, because of the linear progression system. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Like, but it, it's even worse now because you have the linear progression system, so it's like you can't even, like, just skip to a good package and have a semi decent, decent, like, decent gun anymore. You have to, like, literally grind through all the shit beforehand. And most of the time, you're re researching guns you've already unlocked, and it's just painful. It's like, yeah, do I really want to research this 105 mil howitzer? I've done research, like, on 10 other tanks on the same tech tree. No, I don't. Well, I'm gonna have to re research it for some reason. Oh, is that MSV? Are you clickable? Yeah, you're clickable. Bye bye. Would it be platooned? Nah, no, it wouldn't. Would be really surprised if they were actually both platooned given that they were both literally in stock MSV, which is kind of funny. Trashante, go! You must go! Oh, hi, Bulldog. Yeah, I'll probably reload the one shell. What's that? T30. Um, if this uh, a mill goes in to engage that T30, I will probably back him up because I can then clip him. I think that is a good plan. For his lowish health now, anyway. I assume he's not paying attention to me. No, he's not. All right. Yeah, no, I'll go for a safe shot on this hole. Bye bye, T30. Bye bye. Alright, reload again. Reload again. Always reloading again. That should be literally the theme of this tank. <laughs> nice reload again. <laughs> uh, God. Oh, they're like all little health. Oh, that's depressing. Oh, you got health though. I shoot you. You die. That was just a lot of shot. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's all good. Alright, in before the RT fires him again. But I'm probably just gonna ram it because he's got like no help. Might as well. But I'll snap the first. I don't care about you, Bison. Bye bye. <laughs> I ram you to death because I, I, like, I well, couldn't be actually loading the shell. A big victory. MVP screen. Oh, yay, no Ken dolls this time because, you know, fuck the pretty mantis. <laughs> Like it's like the most annoying thing. You like you get MVP. And you're like, oh yeah, I've got this really cool looking tank. That you like, you have luck that you have some like fucking Kendall standing next to it. It's like, no, go away, fuck off. My MVP screen. But that's all right. 2,500 damage, five kills, 90k credits. That's okay. Uh, top of the team. Yeah, 50%. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, but like some of the three command literally look that bad. Oi, Macaulay, you fucking could. Fuck you. Fuck you, you could. Nah, that's real good. How are you? How was work? How was how was um doing Office three six five things? Doing computer nerd shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fair, yeah. That, that is literally any time you come up from work, you literally are drained because it's just fucking annoying. But it's good. It's good. It's good. You're alright. <laughs> alright, I see your fucking damage did. That fucking Hammersdorf game I completely failed. Oh, it was a victory as well. That's depressing. Depressing because I did bad. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, how the fuck does the damage standing go up by half a percent? I did nothing. I fucked up. I failed. I feel like crazy 
And like I win it by half. A, I'm not gonna complain. Fuck it. It won it by half a percent. It's a win. It's a win in my book. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is a dead parrot. No. E e e e e Oh, he's alive. No, it's dead. Fucking Christ. Alright, let's see if I can not fail so hard this time. Literally, that's it. Just not, I just not. I've got to fail not as hard. <laughs> yeah. What I got? Um. Okay, okay, okay. No props, dude. Yeah, they got, they, they got a, sh a glowy tank I can shoot, another tank I can- Okay, they, they, they should be fine. I just gotta play- not play like a moron, and now I should be alright. Yeah, cause you know, who- like whoever decided, oh I'm gonna like make the 75 uh, TS a whole wheels tank and put Neo on it. Neo- like, you know, that's a good idea, right? <laughs> the worst thing is they did it when they were testing True Vision for the first time as well. So yeah, get fucked everyone who bought that tank because it's like, yeah, you're gonna be playing True Vision with fucking Neon Glow. <laughs> oh my god. Still kind of wish they had True Vision now. Two uh, World War Two mode, just a little bit. Just because of the limitations of the U-Range mechanics, but uh, I know it's not something everyone wants, so it's fine. I will make do. Uh... Yeah. There we go, that poor Paro. Fight me, Caro. I want your hit points. Yes, do it. Peek me again so I can shoot you in the face again. Please. I want you to do it. Thank you. Oh, that's a T. No, that's a prot, that's fine. Poor self friendly. Ooh, yes. Is this the... Oh yes, yeah, this is like one of my favourite Slapkin songs. Also very, very... Oh, would be more appropriate if I was playing Cold War mode. Because I'd not be driving around in my Abrams. Haha, <laughs> 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 I tracked you. Oh no, shoot me. Ah, uh, that's badly aimed. I'm nearly there, nearly there. Just a few more hits. Got to not fuck up, that's literally it. Probably gonna reposition now. Uh, let's see what we can do. Ooh, hi! That Yag Panzer IV is regretting his life choices. <laughs> Just fires, loses all his camo, bounces me, snapshots him at like a fucking kilometer range. Like, no, you die, you die now. Fuck you, Yag Panzer IV. You puny tank. That's a dead KP3. Oh look, there's a- oh no. Map position. Well actually, I, I see that. I was actually more worried about the 50 TP actually. It's fine. Oh, he's fired one. Oh, thank you for driving into a wall for me. Thank you. Thank you for the free damage. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the hit points. I appreciate it. And Absolution, you can take your overpowered piece of shit somewhere else. You can... Oh, oh no, it's... Oh, now I'm gonna get shot on the side, aren't I? I feel like I am. Yeah. Oh well though! 2.9k combined, I think that was. That's alright. I'll take that, happily. Meanwhile, just watching the session when 30 pm gal plays by a tier 6. <laughs> Literally. Oh, that's funny. 
Yeah, but it's still funny to see him get outplayed by T6, that's one shot. Um, yeah, that's this pretty much the game. Oh yeah, this is what happens when you give um, everyone free tanks and they don't know how to play them. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, it basically, it, it could be worse though, it could have been the, um, when they added the, the Valor um, skin of the Chieftain Hybrid and you could literally grind it with a Panzer 1C. I literally saw people had not played, got tier 4 yet, playing that thing, a tier 10, and it was like, what the fuck. Yeah, ho hopefully it's not 2%. Um, I mean, it's, I'm really surprised that it even went up after the last game, because I, like, I completely fucking, like, fucked up. I, I completely failed out. And it went up by half a percent, so I was like, I don't know, probably because I haven't played the Panther 2 in a while. So I had to, like, readjust. What am I looking at? Yeah, 91.8, so just shy of 92% now. That's alright. That's fine. Yeah, fuck it, let's keep this up. Only like 2.2k damage at minimum, so easy. I'm enough. Alright, okay, Overlord. I like this map, I like Overlord. As long as my team don't go beach, I'm happy. I say that. <laughs> I know. Because it's Overlord and everyone will go beach because it's fucking Overlord. Because that's the thing, right? Well, it's a tier 10 game as well, so uh, low DPCR. Fuck it, full spam, I don't care. Oh, this is fine, I can pen, I can pen a little plate of a mouse. And, is it, and I can just about pen the turret if he's not angling it. And the guarantee is he won't be angling it because most mouse players are retards. They don't realise that you have to turn the turret at 45 degrees for it to be tough. It's, it, hence why, um, when you get mouse players and E100 players in the forums, they're always like, No, you need to buff frontal turret armour of, of E100 because underpowered. And it's like, just, just turn your turret at 30 degrees. You're fucking impenable. Literally, like, I've bounced like three fucking 90 pen heat shells off it by angling the turret. Like, it's easy. But, well. This is one of those things, you know, everyone expects to sort of just play every heavy tank the same way, you just, you know, front that turret towards enemy. You know, for it to work. So, oh well, it's understandable. Literally, I think the only thing an angled D100 turret can't bounce is a Jaegerish heat shell, and that's it. And even then, I'm pretty sure I've bounced a Jaegerish heat shell in the past. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Okay. Russians. I, I st actually say that. I still remember bouncing a, a fucking Death Star on my Tiger 2. A long, long time ago. Good times. Yeah, this is not gonna go well. Welcome to World of Tanks and this broken RNG mechanics. <laughs> Alright, I was... How much damage is that? 1.4k combined, so that's literally... About 800 short, but it's fine. It's like, you know, next game. You, you can't, you can't do well in every game. Especially when you get bottom tier, so... You just gotta take, take, take the punches when you can and dish it back out. Oh, no. Where you DLC get it shot, is it? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Sounds like fun. Wait, you doing you doing the pit DLC for Fallout 3? Ah, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, unless you'll find like all the ingots, like most fucking retarded places. Like you just look around, you'll find them all. Uh, this one too. Just play that for a bit again. Would be really happy if I got my first mark in this. 
We're going to... No, I haven't done long haul yet, have I? No, I have not done long haul. No, I've still got a couple wins to get before I get long haul done. And even then, I'll probably just get a shit key card anyway. I'm not going to matter too much. But, you know, free shit's free shit, so I'll do it. It's okay. Let's see how this goes. Fisherman's Bay, Team Destruction. Top tier, bunch of tier 6s, that's right, cool. Cool, cool. This, I'm gonna wait like 10 years to reload and then I should be alright. I can actually play the game. <laughs> Uh, okay. I might see if I can poke the mid bridge. I haven't done it in a long time, but I don't know, it feels like something I should do. It used to be one of the best. Uh, actually, in saying that, probably not worth it if I two artillery. Uh, what artillery is it? It's an M12 now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I might still do it anyway, but I probably will regret instantly doing it. But it's fine. Let's see how this goes. I should have theoretically had pro armor to do it. It would be better suited if I was in the Chiefs and Hybrid or something, but obviously I'm playing tier 8. Not tier 10, so you know, it's bad to keep in mind as well. Uh, okay, activate the Russians. Give it to some. Oh god. That's just annoying. Okay. Yep, instant regret. I should not have done this. Uh, I would love for that right now. Oh, good on itch. Oh, hi there. Alright. Mm. Yeah, 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 I fucked up. Uh, I'm just gonna give up the middle. Hope they don't shoot me in the ass and try to reposition over here, I guess. That's all I can do. Well, it would be bad if this thing had better horsepower turn and actually was mobile, but it's okay. Hmm. What is this? What, wait, they're both tanks now? Because... Because mod mod two is the most balanced tank at tier three, so yeah, we're not buffing it. Yeah, it's the pain. Oh yeah. No, it's because it, well, it, yeah, it's because all the seal club is like me and you used to play it when it was. <laughs> that, that that's that's why. Like we used to fucking like when they first added when we first like obviously started playing the game and the Model Two was in such a broken state. We used to literally drive it across the field of Malinovka through the open and just fucking fire on all the move and just kill everything because your alpha damage was so high. Like, oh yeah, yeah, of course you. What one would you? <laughs> I mean, this is when they had the seventy. Yeah, well, this is when I had a 76 millimeter as a top gun with like 160 alpha damage. But like, I had enough HE pen, and the HE pen was like, HE damage was like 180 or something. And so you just load the HE, and then you'd be like, oh, he he hi there, uh, uh, Paul Panther 2. Oh, bye bye, Paul, Paul Panther 2. And, and, and they would just get, like, it would just get, get fucking obliterated. That, it, was, it was hilarious. <laughs> hmm, let's play the big boy tanks again to play one of the tier 10s. But what tier 10? So many tier 10s. Uh, super. Uh, I don't know. Flip the ship bomb. Let's play a ship bomb. Or the Death Star 2, as it's also known. But mostly ship bomb, because it is pretty shit. Uh, this? I think that's got the crew I use, right? Or that. Yeah, no, they're both the same crews, in that. Yeah, they're both the same crews. Uh, we'll probably grab this one. Hit him. British. 
shit barn. And I don't know if I should go full hash for the memes or if I should use AP. Yeah, let's keep I keep the 50-50 loadout because the, the hash rounds are kind of bad now anyway. The AP is the way to go. Yeah, they, they nerfed the hash rounds on the Death Star fucking year, ages ago now. Well, for like a year ago. Yeah, they, they um, nerfed the alpha damage on the hash round to like from 1750 to like 1450. So it was only like 300 better than standard AP. But then they also nerfed the hash pen from 275 to 240, so the hash is basically useless now. Basically. Because you're just pointless loading it. But you might as well guarantee the 1000 damage and fire AP and pen everything. Though the Hesh still does come in handy against some things, because obviously it has protocol damage and stuff, so if it's like a Leopard you're shooting at, you might as well shoot the Hesh, do a bit extra damage and fuck up their internal modules, but you're still gonna F them up even with the AP round, so you might as well just, you know, stick the AP. Oh, the infiltrator, best assault rifle and fallout breach into my mind. But it's suppressed, which is why it's so good. Sneak attacks. The sneak attacks just stack, so. Oh, yeah, of course, Pippa is better because it's a unique version of it. Oh, okay. Um, and then you used to be able to go line up, though. I'm sure you said this, that used to be a good TD spot. Oh, well. Oh, it's okay. Halo 2 Battle Rifle. That's up there. Aiming, aiming, aiming. Deleted. You may fire when ready. Ah, look at the Death Star. It's so retarded, the fact that this thing exists in this game. <laughs> Just like. Yeah, no, that, that's up there as well. Aiming, 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 aiming. Fire! Oh, this thing's so retarded. I, lo I, I, love, I love the balance of this game. Like, yeah, you just have a fucking 183mm gun that does over a thousand damage and has 300mm of pen. Oh, and yeah, with 6.0 accuracy buffs. Aiming, aiming, aiming. Oh, no, that bounced. Oh, fuck. I think I hit his lower plate at a bad angle. Lower plate in the machine is actually. And the, the 50 piece is actually not a weak spot, surprisingly. Alright, aiming. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire at will, Commander! <laughs> Literally. The only reason you want to fucking play the Death Star and the fucking Hesh Barn in World of Tanks is literally just so you can fucking do Emperor Palpatine Death Star fucking quotes. That's literally it. <laughs> That's literally it. That's the only reason you want to play this thing. Excellent. Let the hate flow through you. Literally, that's just this thing. Uh, I see the thing should be spotted soon. So I want to shoot things when spotted. What's that? This is the oh, it's a Trinity. Oh, I feel bad. It will literally get eviscerated if I hit him. Oh yeah, no, it's just memes. That's it. That's just BB. But if you if you can play it right, it, it's fucking a power. It's literally a powerhouse. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Trinity. Hello. Wait, I bounced. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's my. That's just bad RNG. Oh no. It's, to be fair though, if he rushes me now, I'm actually kind of happy to can shoot. Him it's all right. I'll make this work. I'll make this work. It's okay. I'll see a Panther too though. He's pretty big up front. Aim, aim, aim. 
targets eliminated. I just gotta hope Artie doesn't hit me now. That's a machine. But I sort of also wanna get rid of the Trinity. Five, four, three, two, one. I used to know what one of their arts are, is. That didn't fly them. No, no, no. They're both GDP sizes, okay. I thought that was a barrage fire then. Okay, it's fine. So I've got about 20 odd seconds before they reload, so I'm gonna see if I can execute this machine. I just pray it fucking works out. This is really risky, because the closer I get to the artillery, the more they're gonna wanna focus me. What's that machine? There we go, aim, 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 fire. I left him on 18 HP! Oh no! At least he got killed by the arty. He got killed by the arty's bash, that's fine. Yeah, that's why we've got enemy arty focusing me, that's fine. It's to be expected, it's okay. No problems there. No problems there, it's okay. Nah, no, it's the Conway. That could be a problem. Nah, I got splashed. It's alright though. 5 kills, 4.8k damage, 500 assists, that's not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, Upsanti game. Alright, that's surprisingly a win. Look, I failed that super hard, not gonna lie. At least I got some assists though. So that's not horrible. 50%. Um, and yes, check the, pan the damage of the Panther 2. So I, that Panther 2 game did not go well for me at all. Not, yeah, it's still it's just will drop by 0.3%, so no, no real damage there. That's okay, I'll make that back up. Um, play it again. I can't wait from the, uh, the fourth mark of the game so I can fucking rip my eyeballs out. <laughs> oh, that's not a joke. And wish to literally die. Because fuck that. Like, literally, like, I heart, like the whole fucking idea of adding a full bark of excellence. I get, like, adding something for those super hyper unicums that can do 100% damage standing on a tank. Or just play a tank that, that hard and long enough that they eventually get the 100% anyway. But it's just like, you know, like, do, do you really want to give them an extra mark of excellence just to fucking say, oh, by the way, dude, you know that all these tanks you free marks? Yeah, go fuck yourself, because you're now useless. You know, garbage in this game. You now need to get four marks. Like, do you really want to do that? Like, like if they were just to give like people who are 100% a like a mark of actions on the tank, like a unique skin for that tank or something, it'd be it'd be alright. Like just give them like a new camo or something. Like say I've done 100%. But like adding a fourth mark, just it's just fucking stupid. I don't care. It's just fucking retarded. Like if they slotted it, it slotted it in between the 75 and 80%, right? So. Once you got your first mark at 65%, then you do another 10%, then you get your second, then your third at 85, then your fourth at 95. It would be alright because it wouldn't fucking change anything, but it's just like the way they've done it, the way they're thinking about implementing it is just fucking stupid. I really hope they don't do that. But they probably will because it's fucking wargaming. Of course they're gonna do that. Oh yeah, of course they're gonna do it. Oh, I will force myself to do it in the talk, just for the fucking memes of doing it in the talk. Oh, here we are. I'm done. I'm done this game. I've, I've completed it. <laughs> to, to be fair, the talk to yeah probably won't be as bad to um, get another mark on it now because one, no one plays the talk to anyway, right? No one fucking plays it. Two, um, you can at least buff the mobility on it now, so you can actually get to the battle half the time. Instead of having to rely on maps like, you know, how uh, how I didn't have the free market, which is like relying on getting maps in Liberty Falls where you can sit at your spawn and spot everything with max view range. Or um, 
get it or doing the same thing on maps like um what was it kamaran was kamaran one the one where you have the, the marshlands on the sides and you have the islands in the middle and everything's open i think it's kamaran yeah so i did do it on that and then literally i think the, the game i've remarked it was this i just went to the corner fell in the arctic region and just sat there and just, just sniped at things as like they died and i actually so i got really really lucky actually to like move up to um one of the rocks literally just side scraped there for the rest of the game and just killed everything as my team died around me <laughs> but i was still on full health so the enemy team were like oh there's talk to an easy kill and then they all died to me and it was funny i was like hang on i'm talk to i am not easy kill all right i've thrown away a lot of my hit points is this worth it probably not Ooh. Well, I wouldn't say that about the Super Conqueror, or the Conqueror, or the Carnarvon. A lot- if it's low tier, then yeah, it's probably 9 times out of 10 it's easy as fuck kill. Like, I mean, no one's scared of a Churchill 7. Let's be- Let's be real. No one, no one's scared of a Churchill one, even though the Churchill one can be fucking devastating if play properly. I think I've done it. I think I might have my mark requirements. Yeah. Uh oh. Tier 8 up is where the British line's at, in my view. Like, the combat's good at tier 7, not as good as the Cromwell, in my opinion, though. Um, the Crusader's kind of mediocre, but can be kind of good. Um, a lot of lower tier stuff is kind of mix of either garbage or actually quite... Actually, to be fair... Yeah. Yeah, like, the low, lower tier stuff is either a mix of garbage or a complete OP powerhouses like the cruiser 2 is just ridiculously good the um cruiser 4 as well that's amazing uh, because you have to go for his 40 mil which is like just clip clip clips things and the cruiser 1 is just well the, be fair, the cruiser 1 doesn't really have a purpose in the game because it's just it's just a slow it, it is yeah that's all it is it doesn't really have a purpose but the the cruiser 3 has the pom pom that like, makes that actually really competitive and then you have the Vickers Mediums, which are like a mix of absolute garbage, although the, the Vickers Medium Mark is actually surprisingly OP now. Because they buff the DPM with the 2 pounder. So if you use the 2 pounder gun, you can get up to 40 rounds per minute on it at tier 3. Yes, that's a thing. That is a thing. You can get over 40 rounds per minute on the Vickers Medium Mark 3 at tier 3. Base, I think, because the base reload is like um, 36 rounds per minute, so you load like every like one and a bit seconds. But with Rammer, you could literally get it over that like 40 rounds per minute threshold, which basically means you just duck and melt things. All right, 2.8k combined. That's that's cool. Let's see if we get some more damage though. The Panther too. Legendary old tank, this is legendary tank in this game. How much shots? Yes, thank you. 3k combined. Now I just want to spot, that's all I want to do. So I don't want to, I don't want to over peek and get killed by these guys. Unless, I might be able to get shot in this IS. Is that bounce? Okay. Okay, I'm not going to complain. That really should not bounce, but it's fine. The paint is not going to me, so I'm going to have a shot into him anyway. And uh, challenge is dead, and that just leaves one last TD, and that's issue 30. And he's dead. Ooh, that was a good game. That was a really good game. And that was indeed a very good battle. So, that was. Alright, so I think I was third place, so that's fine. Um, what was it, second? Yeah, third. Uh, third place, but that took me up to 92.4%. Lovely. Alright, next battle. I believe. I believe. Oh, so all you need is belief and you can get free marks. Belief. Hehehehe. <laughs>
you need belief to, believe, to get free marks and then the game just shits on you and puts you like a tier 10 game where you're the, you're the only 8. Oh look, I, I, I know I did do that, it put me in tier 8 game. <laughs> Sorry. A tier 8 game when I'm actually going to be stupidly competitive because it's only like, like a few heavies and the heavies are like tier 7. Other than like a defender, but with a defender. You know, a defender played by morons, right? I mean, it's probably being played by morons, so I'll probably be okay. Because, you know, everyone's like, Defend the strongest thinking game! Does it OP? I must buy it and win every battle I play in it. And then they die like every, like, every battle and lose. Because, you know, they they just overly aggressive in it. And then everyone shoots a little plate in a turret and it's like, haha. You, 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 you not good tank. Yeah, it, it, it is why they never nerf Soviet heavies because everyone plays so bad in them, <laughs> despite them being stupidly good. Like you know, like like no one says like the stockade is overpowered, but then you look at the stockade and you've got like a 390 alpha damage gun that like fires three shells that reloads in like what 20 seconds, and it's an IS3 chassis, so you actually have armor. You know, you actually have armor that will, can work. Well, the KV Fortress is like pretty underpowered anyway, so who gives a fuck? So. <laughs> oh yeah, if you side scrape in it and you, you actually put that 107 to work, you're gonna have a good time. Hi there. Hi there. He got clipped. I'm I'm big sad now. That's a T20 though. He's got pretty, he's pretty got a big chunk of HP. Tracked him. Farm him. Farm him. Uh, no 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 no. Track. Come on. Mm, this is not. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna push on cap. There's gonna be the one tank, so am I worried? Probably not. I probably should be though. All right, let's go ham. Let's go ham. That's all I can do. Um, hope that, no, okay, I'm worried that tank is in the cap. Let's see. Okay, of course he is. All right, that's fine. If I lose percentage because of this game, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be pissed. Yeah, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, yeah, because this is just dumb. Welcome to World of Specials. I don't, I don't care about your your armor, T28. Uh, yeah, this is not going to go well. I'm going to lose percentage because the enemy team, either, either my team is going to cap out or the enemy team is. And if I play aggressively now, yeah, but for damage, I'm just, yeah, this is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's fun. Uh, please don't shoot. Uh, yeah, that's just annoying. Uh, nose, what a thanks. <laughs> When I say defenders play like morons, is it like kind of funny that the tank there was AFK and our spawn was a defender? <laughs> or is he not actually AFK, he's just sitting there like, it's like a moron. Oh my god. Jesus. Hey, I, I am Gibby Tank Steve. I, I play defender. I, I sit at back of base and kill tier 7 tank after getting nearly farmed to death by it. And uh, this, this medium nail tank now kill me, yes? I, I, I am invincible, this medium won't pen me. <laughs> I, I will kill this medium. <laughs> I'm good at the game, that. No, he now flanked me, I'm, I'm not now dead, yes? Oh no. I, I do not know where to shoot, even though I can just shoot Hulk. Fuck it, how? Poor, poor are these players, man. Poor are these players. Well, to be fair, I mean that, that also applies to premium tanks as well, because literally, yeah, like, like, you, you, like, you can, this, this like, ha literally happens like all the time. Like, the famous example is the fucking movie. Is like we we all know about fucking Schrader, fucking heavy tank Steve and Lurve, who bought like buys Lurve at like fucking five hundred battles, 
sucks out and calls everyone trash until the point where because he's so bad at the game he, and he is actively trash, he literally just trolls everyone because he's that bad. You know, he just did because he can't get his own way. He just fucking trolls everyone. He's like, oh, no, you, 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 can push the Asuka. I love how I love Australia is such a meme on World of Tanks PC. Look, <laughs> the most infamous player ever. It, well, it wasn't even that, it was the fact he was so shit and then he like decided to try and troll everyone because he was so shit. Because he'd be like, yeah, the, 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 the snake destroy a bot because he can't be in bush and he's like, what? <laughs> he was on the front line with you two seconds ago, dude. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for his FE305 because he literally can't do anything in this situation now. Be fair, he did it, he had all the game. I just got fucked because I, I, I had to play super aggressively for Marks because the team was capping out. So I got set on fire and fucking disintegrated. Oh well, it's okay. It happens. Uh, so much of my buff 91% I can't add. Uh, I can't mm -hmm. Alright. I think I'm going to call the Steam here and play other games. Take care everyone. Have fun. Bye bye.